Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this thrilling Thursday here in Connecticut. Life's good, man. Life is awesome. <laughs> anyway, you saw the thumbnail. The 1SB in a Bach trumpet. Now, I said yesterday I was going to do one on flexibility, and I'll do that tomorrow, unless I get sidetracked again. But um, this came up yesterday, actually this morning, and... Um, yeah, I feel I got to talk about it because this has come up a lot when we're talking about the 1SB. All right. Now, I played a little bit. Let me honk and we'll see what we're doing. Hellacious double C's and popping articulations, man. Popping. Now, this just came up this morning. One of my top high school students, who is the best trumpet player in North Carolina. <laughs> he's not super advanced musically, but he's got better chops than half the college professors. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. He plays a Bach trumpet. I'm not sure the, the, you know, Bach Strat. I'm not sure the, the bore and all that sort of stuff, but it's a Bach trumpet. He also keeps around his Blessing student model trumpet. Okay? The Blessing eh, sometimes gives him a little bit of cushion and, you know, above high C and all that sort of stuff. But his main instrument is the Bach. Okay? Now, here's the deal. He made a video, a virtual audition for the All District. He got first trumpet in the All County. This is the All District, and later in February will be All State. Okay? And again, they have to send in the recording because of COVID and all this stuff. Check this out. Check out the absurdity of this. He just went to All District last weekend, All County, whatever, All something or other. And they made him wear a mask the whole time with a hole in it and a cover on the bell. He said his chops were so screwed up after I, I... Don't get me started. <laughs> anyway, um, he sent me the uh, two recordings he made on his Bach trumpet as well as Blessing. The exact same notes, same scales, same articulation, everything the same. And the uh, piece was the uh, Prelude and Ballad by Balai, which is a concert piece, um, a um, competition piece certified by the North Carolina Band Association, whatever the case may be. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with it. But um, anyway... So he is playing his 1SB mouthpiece on a Bach trumpet and the blessing. And I'll get to that in a second. Now, the reason I am bringing this up is because I get a lot, a lot of orchestral players that email me and say, look, Ralph, we love what you're doing on your videos, blah, 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 blah. But I'm really hesitant to play such a small mouthpiece in my orchestral stuff. And I'm telling you right here, and I'm not going to put his tape up. You're, I'm not going to put his recording up. You're going to have to take my word for it. I am not going to. I'm not going to subject this fine young man to all the trolls and morons out there that are going to. Well, I'm not that good. I'm not doing it. Okay. So you have to take my word for it. And I think most of you <laughs> that. Uh, tune in, take my word for most things. 
Anyway, as I was saying, and I am telling you guys, you close your eyes, that Bach 1 SB on a B-flat trumpet, he could have been playing a Bach 1 and a half C. Absolutely, the tone was rich. It was only better than that, and I, I will get to that in a second. And Jerry would have loved this. Jerry would have loved this. He always felt if the chops are right, you can jump around from anything. And guys, and all of you that are thinking you're not sure if the 1SB is for you, it can absolutely be done. With his articulations and everything, he sounded like Herseth. I don't care what you say. It was absolutely gorgeous. Now, here's the thing. The difference between a box strat and a blessing student model, you would think, was night and day. I guarantee you, if we did a blindfold test, you would not be able to tell the difference. Why? Guys, he's controlling it with his tongue. And that is what Jerry would be thrilled with. Now, I knew the difference and I'm watching. And there was a note here, a note there that sounded a little more centered with the blood, whatever the case may be. But guys, it works. Why? Because he's relaxed and he can control the timbre a thousand percent with his tongue and the compression in the mouth. You see why I put uh, flexibility on the back burner? This is extraordinary. Maybe somewhere down the line, when he's in college or doing whatever he's going to do, maybe I will put that up and you will see what I'm talking about, but take my word for it. Sounded like a Bach mouthpiece, except anybody that has played a Bach mouth outside of Herseth and Mel Broz was playing the Mount Vernon and uh, Sandoval was playing the Mount Vernon, blah, blah, blah. Okay, different animal altogether. Every single one of them, especially on a B-flat trumpet, seasoned pros, unless they're playing a C trumpet, on a B-flat trumpet, when they go above the staff, it goes flat. I don't care what you say. And they are so used to that sound going flat that they just consider it what it's supposed to sound like. He sounded like a Bach mouthpiece, but it didn't go flat. Now, he played a high C or two in the scales. The belay doesn't go much above a G or an A above the staff, but it was so relaxed it was so centered, yet round. I'm telling you, you could close your eyes, you would think it was about one and a quarter C. Absolutely 1,000%. It was great. Absolutely great. Now, and here's another thing. When he gets above high C, I'm telling you, man, unlike about which you can't do this, his sound just doesn't break up. And he's right, double C's are right around the corner. Right around the corner. I don't know where his career, if he chooses this or whatever, I, I, I don't care. I really and truly don't care. He's an extremely bright kid, so there's so many opportunities at his disposal that, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish a Trump a career on my worst enemy. Um, so anyway, that, that's that. But I'll tell you what. It absolutely can be done. And I can list 10 names right now of guys that I've gotten an email in the last month saying, is this going to work with my C-Trick? Guys, it will work. Will there be an adjustment period? No doubt about it. If you're playing a Bach mouthpiece or something along those lines, there will be an adjustment period. But I'm talking a couple days. And with that adjustment period, knowing full well that there's going to be an adjustment period, I'm giving a free lesson with the purchase of every mouthpiece. Okay, and we'll get you started and we can circumvent that whole adjustment period. And I'm telling you guys, you will have never played this well in your life. Okay, what it does is it keeps things locked in. It will not allow you to play incorrectly. So in some ways it's a little unforgiving, but a day or two later, once you get the hang of it, you are not gonna believe how easy the trumpet is. Anyway, um, that's it. So anyway, you know who you are, okay? The rest of you, trust me, maybe somewhere down the line, I will bring it out and I will let you know what I'm talking about. But I'm, you know, 
17, 18 year old kid, I'm not going to subject it, subject it to this nonsense. <laughs> I like them. <laughs> anyway, um, that's that. So we'll do the, um, we will do the um, flexibility tomorrow. And I'm working on some new things. And uh, in typical Jerry fashion. So I may have a little tweak for you at the beginning of the week. We'll see. Anyway, eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.